it's just another day for Jack. He's running late and like most other school days, he hasn't finished his homework. In fact, he hasn't even started it. As with most of us, Jack's day will be full of routine. He doesn't have time to take in all that goes on around him, all the different influences that make his day work. If he did, he'd find that there is one often unseen industry that touches upon his life more than any other, quarrying. Quarrying is playing its part for us while we sleep. The homes that keep us warm, secure and safe through the night were created using a host of quarried materials. Much of their strength comes in the form of what is known as aggregate, crushed rock, sand and gravel. A typical house needs around 60 tonnes of it, that's three lorry loads. Of the aggregates we need in Britain, around 200 million tonnes a year comes from land quarries. A further 13 million tonnes is provided by marine dredging. The rest, some 67 million tonnes, is recycled from demolition and other wastes. We are better than any other European country at producing recycled aggregates. Much of the aggregate we need for our homes goes into the foundations in the form of concrete made from aggregate and cement. The stone or bricks that make up the outer walls have similarly been made from quarried materials. The inner walls are built with concrete blocks and they in turn are covered in plaster which is made from another quarried material, gypsum. Then there's the mortar that bonds the bricks, stones and blocks together. It's made using sand with cement which is manufactured from limestone and clay. Up on the roof, of course, you have tiles made from clay, concrete or slate. But the influence of the quarrying industry doesn't stop there. When we turn on our taps, the ready supply of pure water has been filtered through special sands. And it comes to us through concrete pipes. We even have stone in our toothpaste. The gentle abrasive that cleans your teeth without damaging them is made mostly from limestone. Our heat and light is drawn from power stations, which use limestone to clean gases before they are emitted safely to the atmosphere. The influence of rock is as strong as ever in the kitchen. The food we eat may well have been grown in fields that have been enriched with lime. Special industrial sands also have a significant role to play here. Silica in the sand is a main ingredient in ceramics and in virtually every type of glass, from windows to tableware. We even have quarrying to thank for light bulbs and for the screens in our tellies. Look outside, and all the hard landscaping for the garden has come from quarries. Under the bonnet of your car, you have an engine created by pouring molten metal into moulds made using silica sand. And then there's the road. If you could see beneath the surface, you would find layers of crushed rock. The stone in the topmost layer is bound together with bitumen and is designed not just for strength, but for skid resistance and drainage. It plays a big part in keeping us safe. As we move on through our day, we come into contact with quarry products at just about every turn. The new hospital that treats you and maybe half a million other patients every year is very much a product of quarrying. And so are the shops and offices that play such a large part in our lives. Railways, like roads, rely on aggregates as a base for the track. Concrete allows us to land safely when we fly and gives strength to the bridges that allow us to cross safely. Quarry products are also vital for our leisure hours. They will create the setting for the 2012 London Olympics and for the massive regeneration that will follow. And when you arrive at school, 
Yes, that too couldn't exist without rock, much of which will have come from a quarry just a few miles down the road. More often than not, it is the quarry just down the road from you which satisfies your needs. It is, of necessity, a busy industrial environment. But without it, our comfortable living environments would not be possible. And beyond the working quarry lies some high-quality restoration. Land returned to agriculture or used to create new and better environments for wildlife or leisure. But it's the stone from our quarries that makes the biggest impact on us. It provides us with secure places to work, rest and play, and allows us to move safely between them. Even in a high-tech age, our lives still revolve more than ever around stone. <laughs>